So when you first log into your new blog, you will be uh, directed to the dashboard, which looks something like this. So this first tutorial is just an overview of the dashboard. Uh, the dashboard is split up into different sections. The first one, called the Right Now section, is just a summary of the content and the comments on your blog. Underneath it is a useful box um, where you can see the most recent comments that people have left on different posts. And down here you can see if any are um, pending approval if your um, posts are moderated, which means you have to give approval before any comments can be seen by anybody else. It's a very useful um, thing to have. Over here is the quick press block, um, box and if you have just a really quick update um, or picture or something like that you want to update upload to your blog then you can do it really quickly right here you don't have to go anywhere else you just quickly type in what you want hit publish and you've got information on your blog right away recent drafts um, this is for if you're working on something that is a little bit more um, in depth then you might want to save it and go back to it and so this is where you'll see a list of your recent drafts then there are some other boxes here, um, the WordPress blog and other WordPress news, it just really takes up space. And in order to get rid of those, you can go up to the screen options box and just click on the little down arrow. And then you can unclick the different boxes you don't want to see. And then if I click back up here again, you'll see that those are now gone. And I just have the boxes that are of relevance to me. Over on the left hand side are all of the different drop down menus that you can access to make changes to your blog. All you have to do is highlight um, or hover over uh, the one you want, say it's posts, and click on it and it will open up to show you all your different options. So these ones on the left hand side, which I will go over in much more detail in other um, tutorials, these, are, these do all the heavy lifting and these will only show up when you're in the dashboard. However, on the top there's also a um, black bar and when you are logged in this bar will stay there no matter where you go on the website which is very useful because it means that there's a lot you can do without having to go back to the dashboard. So uh, one thing you can do if you click on uh, your name you can log out uh, if you click on visit site it will take you to the website if you have more than one site it'll give you a drop down menu uh, where you can access all your different sites if you hover over add new you can add a post which is a regular uh, update on your blog you can add a page which is a static page of content you can add media so you can upload um, uh, audio or video or uh, more likely pictures. You can add a link um, and to be honest I'm not sure what adding new user is. Under com you've also got access to comments and under appearance um, you can change the themes, widgets and other, other parts of your blog as well. So this is a very useful bar uh, while you're to access while you are navigating your blog.